We begin analyzing Twitter behavior to answer a very fundamental question. And the question was, when somebody posts a tweet on Twitter, could we predict very quickly how many retweets that tweet gets? That is, can we predict how many people are going to click on this tweet? And so we begin to analyze the Twitter data to look for patterns in there. And we found something very remarkable. So we found that it doesn't matter if you're a very popular Twitter user, like the president with millions of followers, or if you're some very unknown blogger with maybe a few hundred followers, what's going to be the same for all those people is that after a fixed amount of time, the fraction of retweets you get is going to be constant. It's a universal thing. So for example, if after two minutes, we're going to have 10% of the retweets, that means that if I tweet something and after two minutes it has 10 retweets, that's 10% of the total volume, then I know that that tweet's going to get 100 retweets in total. So that's how we actually predict how many retweets a tweet gets, with that universal behavior about the fraction of retweets after a fixed amount of time. Now, if you can predict retweets, what else can you do with that information? And for me, a very important thing to do with that is to actually think about redoing how people rank content in Twitter. So for instance, in my Twitter timeline, if I look today, what I see in the top are the newest tweets from all the people I follow. But that isn't the best way to rank the content in Twitter for me, because what I want to see in Twitter are not the newest tweets, I want to see the newest tweets that are going to be popular, right? the newest tweets that have some useful information in them. And to measure that, you need to measure the age of a tweet, which is easy to do, and also the eventual popularity of a tweet, how popular it's going to be. Now, before you couldn't do that, but now with our model, you can do that. So now you can measure how popular a tweet's going to be, combine that with the age, and have a new way to rank content in Twitter. So I see at the top of my timeline, not the newest tweets, but the newest tweet that's going to be popular. And now to demonstrate that this prediction actually works, we built a system, simple tool called Tweegee. Now the name Tweegee comes from Twitter plus a Ouija board that can predict the future. And to actually use Tweegee, what you do is you pick a tweet from our database, you click on any time period in the history of the tweet, and it's going to make a prediction of how many retweets it thinks the tweet gets. So you can go to Tweegee and try it out and see how good our predictions are. Now what are the applications of this going forward? Well, now imagine that this system is used in Twitter to actually rank people's tweets. So I'll see in my timeline the newest, most popular tweets on top. Let's say the ad advertiser actually knows that certain tweets have a very high score. They're brand new, and they're going to get a very, very large number of retweets. Then the advertiser knows those tweets are going to sit at the top of many people's timelines. And so many people are going to see that tweet. And so the advertiser actually put ads in the tweet itself. So now imagine a system where the user who makes the tweets actually gets paid by advertisers to actually use their tweet as a billboard. So I think it's kind of a model of a user being compensated for their tweets in Twitter is a very new way to do adver online advertising. And I think it's going to change the whole online adver advertising game in the future.